There are more than 30,000 seats at Kauffman Stadium. Imagine if all of the fans at the ballpark could help stop human trafficking. That's the idea behind Strike Out Slavery, an organization started by Kansas City natives Deidre and Albert Pujols. Oftentimes there is a big disconnect between the fact that people know these kind of things happen and what can they do about it. And so we are trying to give them access to all these different organizations and, uh, you know, the people on the front line who have organizations who need help. Like the Big Search. Last Big Search we did, we were able to find 24 kids in 72 hours. That was all a part of find, uh, looking for them. You can't find what you're not looking for. Human trafficking can range from labor to sex exploitation. Attorney General Eric Schmidt says a special task force is working to address what he calls modern day slavery in Missouri. It's not the sort of Hollywood drama like taken. I mean, those events sort of happen, um, but it's much more frequent. And a lot of it has to do with financial exploitation. People find themselves in really vulnerable positions that are taken advantage of. The first step to helping them is awareness. Everybody knows we can do more together than we can separately. So with all of these organizations together in each city, and the goal of Strikeout Slavery is to be in every Major League Baseball park. So if you can imagine all of the local nonprofits working together, we could make a significant difference. And Grammy Award winning artist Lauren Hill is performing on the field after the World's Game tonight as part of the event. If you would like to learn more about how to recognize the signs of human trafficking and how you can help, I've shared a link on my Facebook page to resources provided by the Missouri Attorney General's Office.